Good morning and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. Joining me for this segment, we have Tech Chia. He's the head of financial services advisory. And we are going to focus on FinTech activity and just how robust it actually is. Thank you so much for joining us at the festival today. Now tell us about the scale and ambition of Chinese players within this space. Yeah, so I think in the last two years, right, we have seen the Chinese players not just expanding in China, but progressively looking at where to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. So you see obvious, the obvious examples of Alibaba in the e-commerce side, but that then gets accompanied by N Financial, right, which is the yeah, yeah, FinTech uh, element of it, which is the Alipay and, and financial side. We are starting to see WeChat, again, looking at global markets, but progressively we are seeing companies that were purely domestic in China looking particularly in ASEAN, in our region, and using Singapore as a hub, right? They get a license here, they got an experiment here, but the key markets for them would be the larger markets like Indonesia, right. but then Thailand, Vietnam, and so on. So we're starting to see a lot of activity, and we are, we are pretty happy with it. All right, so more investment continues to flow into Singapore for RegTech and also for InsureTech. Mm. Um, are you seeing more regulator support, and what are some of the other subsectors you're seeing that flow come into? So I think we started a lot with the P2P lending platform, things like that, and payments. This year, or even the last 18 months, we're starting to see what we see, the underserved markets or underserved sections, which is uh, regulatory technology, mm -hmm. uh, as well as insure tech. Yeah. Right? But I think the applications behind it is really the maturity around artificial intelligence, machine learning, but also the emergence of blockchain as a platform that allows some of these utilities to be formed, some ecosystems to be formed. So it's, it's, a mer it's a, I guess, a congress of many things happening, a need in the market and a reality of new technology. Right. All right, and to wrap up here, do you expect investment to remain strong for 2019? We will see 2019 investments coming in a different form. It's what we call expansion capital mm -hmm. versus startup capital. Right, so and, and in expansion capital, the, the, the it's typically series C, D, E, which means that the ticket size will be higher, or much higher than before. Right, so that's where we're going to see fewer deals, but bigger deals. All right, well, thank you so much thank for joining much. us at the festival. And make sure you stay tuned throughout the day. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.